First and foremost, thoughts and prayers go out to anybody currently impacted by coronavirus or somebody who has a loved one currently dealing directly with coronavirus. And for all of us, we will all be impacted in some way from what is currently going on in America and around the world. But what you have is an opportunity to choose to respond positively, to do the things that are 100% in your control, especially when we're dealing with our clients. All the conversations I've had with advisors, we've talked about similar things, the uncertainty, will people meet with me? Will people do their medical exams? Will people follow through with the decisions that they made? This is a short-term virus. You have to ask yourself the question, can you come out stronger through this? Fear is not an option for us. Having faith, staying committed to the process, that will be the difference. If you think you can't have meetings, if you think you don't have time to stay connected to your clients, then that's exactly what's going to happen. You will lose a connection to your clients, you will lose communication, and this will be a very challenging period of time. One of the things I've been encouraging all advisors to do is every single day, maybe it's five times a day, maybe it's ten times a day, choose to be positive and proactive with your clients. This will not last forever. This will be a shortened period of time, and especially if we all do our part with what the government is asking to stay clean, to have social distancing, to honor the changes of your environment, we're going to be back quicker than, than we can even imagine. But while you are away, think of how easy it is to do business today. Think of how easy it is to be an advisor today. If this would have happened 30, 40 years ago, you're done. You're shut down. Many of you go out of business. But the reality is, look at the video I'm putting together for you right now. There's Zoom. There's all kinds of things that you can do to still conduct client meetings. And people's plans don't change just because there's significant change in the world and in the economy. If it wasn't coronavirus that impacted the economy and the downturn in the market, it would have been some, but something else. We've been enjoying this high ride in the market for so long. Use this as an opportunity to continue to educate your clients. Help your clients understand that we will overcome through this, but you must stay the course. Your long-term plan doesn't change. Continue to educate on the time horizon. I spoke with coaching clients of mine last week that were already choosing to be proactive with their clients. One of my clients, by the time we had our coaching call last week, had already contacted 104 existing clients. I shared with them, I said, you may not realize this, but every single one of those phone calls is going to lead to insurance premiums and new assets under management. Maybe 250, 500,000, maybe a million dollars of assets under management for every single time you picked up the phone. Maybe not today, maybe not next week, but three months, six months, a year down the line. Because other coaching clients who had fears, who had held back, I encourage them, you got to pick up the phone. you got to stay active. You have to reach out to your clients. This is where you have an opportunity to create distance. This is where you have an opportunity to be courageous and to lead. If you choose to not lead during times like this, that's a decision. If you choose to lead, you will create distance, you will have an impact, and people will remember your positivity during times like this. Every time you call a client, that client, their fears go down because you help them remember why they made the decisions that they made. If you look at your phone like it's a grenade and you don't want to pick it up, if you are praying that the phone does not ring, and maybe you have a quiet period of time by doing that, I promise you, you are actually putting yourself in harm's way. What do I mean by that? The opposite when you choose to be proactive, like the client of mine who contacted the 104 clients. His clients pick up the phone, five, 10 minute phone call. They have peace of mind, fear subsides. They actually have faith in the long-term plan. They hang up the phone. Maybe today, maybe next week, maybe two weeks from now, they're out to lunch with one of their friends, and your client, Steve, says to Sarah, hey, Sarah, how are things going for you? And she says, before we talk about anything to catch up, I got to ask you a question. Did you hear from your financial advisor during all of the ups and downs of the market with coronavirus? 
And Steve says, absolutely, I did. It was like immediate. It was, it was almost an immediate response. And it was incredible. It was a 10. It was a 15-minute phone call. And Sarah says, can you give me his or her number? Because I need to reach out to them today. I never even received an email. I never received a phone call. No correspondence. It had me living in fear about my money. You think that's not happening? I promise you that it is, and I promise you that it will. So if you heard me a little bit earlier, what did I say? I say every time you pick up that phone, it's an extra 250, 500,000, a million dollars of assets under management. That's what I mean by that. You will lose business if you live in fear. If you have faith in the process, you communicate, you encourage your clients to overcome, to stay the course, you will come out ahead. I promise you that. Here's something from a book that I read called Fear is Not an Option. Maybe a great book for everybody to read. This says, I am fully capable of handling any challenges that arise in my day and my life. I trust everything that happens to me is for my greatest good. Fear is not an option. I have total and complete trust in the creator. I choose to connect to the light in every situation. Fear is not an option. I meet every event and circumstance with the certainty that it will work out for the best. I am whole and complete. Fear is not an option. I can achieve my greatest goals and dreams. I am living in and I am my truest self. Fear is not an option. Stay connected to that burn that lies inside of you. Create distance from the undisciplined. Create distance from those who don't have the courage that you have to reach out to your clients and build stronger relationships. And the last thing I'd say is take care of you. Do all of the little things that are being asked of you to get us back into our regular environment. This is a temporary new normal. We will get out of this new normal. You don't want to look back with regret from living in this temporary new normal that you didn't do the things that you could have done to stay ahead. If workouts make you feel good, work out. Take advantage of this time to be closer to family and loved ones. Embrace this opportunity for you to get better, for you to come out stronger. Don't ever forget that everything you need is already in you. And just like it talks about in the book that I just read to you, fear is not an option. Have faith. Take it one day at a time. Stay committed to what it means for you to be your best every day and give your best to your clients. Don't hold back. Lean into the challenge. Get stronger from the challenge. We will be stronger together. Let's keep attacking one day at a time.